Hi everyone, Telios here. Um, I'm about to do the uh, Phase 2 North combat mission with Thrawn and Houndstooth. So we got North, I'm going to plug in Bounty Hunters, and then I'm also going to plug in to First Order. Um, so basically the way this goes is once you um, get enough healing on Hound's Tooth, he basically becomes invincible and uh, Thrawn just kind of destroys all the other ships. So unless you get a really bad string of RNG, it should be pretty straightforward with uh, mostly just keeping Hound's Tooth alive. Um, the very first thing that I'm going to do... So they're targeting my one ship, which is really bad. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is take out... Um, whatever ship this is, it's the one that does like the most damage. If I can land breach, then uh, my droid ship here will heal itself up. And this is really good because if I call him to assist, I should be able to actually kill that ship outright um, in the opener, which is really, really important. Um, so the most important thing in this entire fight before you do anything is to make sure that Hound's Tooth never drops any HP. Um, so anytime that you get the option, you want to heal um, your bounty hunter ships, and you want to get some protection on Hound's Tooth, um, because ultimately the only thing that matters in this fight is that he doesn't go down. Um, if they can't kill your Hound's Tooth, then you win. Uh, that's that's basically how this fight works. Um, so again, I'm going to take out the damage oriented ship. Um, I am going to go ahead and reinforce here, and I'm going to do it with Slave One so that I can get two taunts going. Um, Slave One is just a, a really strong ship, and he has crit immunity, so um, depending if they start um, switching switching off between uh, Slave One and Hound's Tooth, then this this team from Mace really can't do anything at all. Um, so I'm going to ignore the Clone Trooper for now. Um, even though he's going to get a crit um, if he uses his Torpedo Strike on Hound's Tooth, I'm not as scared as Rex. Um, Rex can actually do a ton of damage for for him just being more of a support ship. Um, in one of my previous combats, he did like 80,000 damage in a shot um, and basically one shot one of my ships. Um, so I'm basically going to kind of focus on Rex here and keep that... Um, keep him from really doing as much as as he will do in the fight. So um, this isn't really that great. I, I can't seem to land any debuffs on him. Um, they're targeting my ship and that's destroyed. So I'm going to call in the, uh, the vulture droid here. I don't know that it's actually going to do anything. Um, I haven't exactly figured out how this ship works. But basically, it seems to be just another DPS. So um, I have Hound's Tooth taunting again, which is really nice for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Boba's special there to get some damage rolling, and I'm going to actually blow up Rex. So he's taunting. I can't I can't even click on anyone else, but I'm going to destroy him, uh, heal Hound's Tooth, and this is basically off to the races. So um, I find that Plo Koon's ship is much more annoying than Sarge. Um, Sarge is basically just a tank, so if I can take Plo Koon out of the fight before anything too bad happens, um, that would be ideal. Um, kind of have an issue here now that we have the Sarge ship is taunting, um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, at this point, they, they have no way of killing my Hound's Tooth. It hasn't even taken any major amount of damage. So this just becomes a stall fight. So basically what's going to happen is they're just going to attack me over and over, and eventually I'm just going to blow them up with uh, Thrawn's special. And there's not really anything that they can do about it um, besides just get blown up. So um, at this point, it doesn't. there's not really much to talk about besides I'm just going to win this fight. Um, but this is kind of how it goes. Um, once you get your invincible houndstooth, um, you you just go through the fight and you kind of let Thrawn's ship do what Thrawn's ship does. Um, even if Mace gets more reinforcements here, it's not going to matter. I mean, it's really not going to matter one way or another. Um, so we'll use this again and see if we can destroy a plume. Um, and we did. 
So again, they're targeting Houndstooth again. Um, I'm going to remove some TM and I'm just shooting the ship down. And then eventually I'll get to a point where I use um, Thrawn's ship special, even if uh, Mace calls reinforcements and I'll just simply win. So Mace actually just healed, which is great for me. That means when Thrawn goes, which should be um, after this, uh, I win the combat. Um, so that's kind of a quick, uh, a quick and dirty on going through the mace combat with the bounty hunters um, and using the kind of Thrawn special tactic to win the fight. Um, your Thrawn needs to be pretty good. Um, my Thrawn has one Zeta and is G12, I think with a couple pieces on the left. Um, and my boss is G12 um, with a couple pieces on the left side too. Um, both of their ships are maxed, all abilities maxed. Um, so there you go.